The French wonder kid Hugo Ekatike is highly rumoured with a transfer move this summer and Newcastle United appear to be the front runners for his signature. Currently valued at around 40 million euros, Ekatike is the highest scoring teenager across all of the top five leagues in Europe and there's a reason there is so much interest in this guy. And in today's video we will be taking a deep dive into who is Hugo Ekatike, his short career so far and what he can bring to any team he joins this summer. Born in the city of Reims, France, Ekatike joined his boyhood club Reims at the age of just 11 where he made his way up through the academies and by the age of 17 represented Reims 2 in the 4th division of French football. The wonder kid's talents were quickly spotted and in 2020-2021 at the age of just 18 Ekatike made his full professional debut for Rams, but then was quickly sent out on loan to try and get him as much experience as possible, being sent out to the Danish league where he played for Virgil BK, playing in 11 games and scoring 3 goals whilst over there. Ekatike finished his loan spell over in Denmark and rejoined Rams at the start of this season, the 2021-22 season, with pretty much perfect timing as their top goal scorer from the previous season, Dia, had just been sold to Villarreal on a big money move, and with the Rams coaching staff and fans wondering where the goals would come from this season, Ekatike stepped up and took on that challenge himself at the age of just 19, scoring 10 goals in 26 games this season. Really has made his name overnight and has attracted a whole lot of interest from clubs all around Europe. It's understood that Liverpool, Chelsea, Man United, Wolves, Fulham, Madrid, Bayern, Chelsea, Spurs, Arsenal and Newcastle are all very interested in this guy and as I mentioned has really built his name up overnight at just 19 years old, had a big task on his hands and you know truly succeeded for Rams this season. At the age of just 19, Ekatike has not had a long and glorious career just yet, but has certainly burst on the scene this season and caught the attention of a lot of clubs. As I've mentioned, Newcastle appear to be the front runners for his signature this summer. And if you are a Newcastle fan, I've no doubt you've already heard the name Hugo Ekatike, as Newcastle were linked with the player back in January. Now it's rumoured that Newcastle placed a bid of around 30 to 40 million euros back in the January window. Now it's rumoured that Rems declined that bid. But it's also rumoured that Rems actually accepted that bid and it was Ekatike who chose not to join Newcastle in the January window. There's a couple of reasons on why Ekatike is rumoured to have turned down Newcastle in that January window. The first being that that bid came in very late, pretty much on deadline day, and did not give you know the 19 year old kid much time to decide on whether he wanted to completely turn his life upside down and move over to England and play English football. Ball. Secondly, he plays for his boyhood club, so I think he was a little bit unsure as to whether he wanted to leave at all. He's actually quoted in saying there's still a little bit of history to be written together. And thirdly, at the time Newcastle were pretty much down at the bottom of the league and it didn't look like we had much chance of staying up, so you could probably allow him a little bit of hesitation for that as well. But now it looks sure that he will leave this summer, again, a whole host of clubs interested and who knows where he'll go just yet. But as I say, it's looking very certain that he will leave this summer. And it's at the point where the REMS president, Jean-Pierre Calotte, is quite literally coming out and saying that in Hugo's case, he would be wasting time staying with us. We refused a 35 million bid for him in the winter, which is a lot of money for a club like ours, and that money could be used to grow and improve the club. Hugo will be allowed to go, and he will probably leave. Now, there wasn't a big club that didn't inquire about him. So as I've mentioned, it appears there has been a lot of interest for the youngster, and it's looking pretty much nailed on that he is going to go this summer. So what kind of player is Hugo Ekatike? Well, as I mentioned earlier, he is a striker. Predominantly plays down the middle, but can play out on the wings as well. He's got a great turn of pace 
uh, to cut inside and an eye for goal to put the ball in the back of the net, which is where I think the Thierry Henry comparisons are coming from. Also the fact that they're both French, but I think the fact that he is very quick uh, and knows how to put the ball in the back of the net. He's a tall lad, he's six foot three, uh, although quite skinny still, I think he will bulk out a little bit as he gets older. So with that height, he's quite good at bringing the ball down, uh, getting involved in play, got a great touch, but generally, as I say, it is his goal scoring that is catching the attention from all of these teams. As I say, at the age of 19, is the highest scoring teenager across all of the top leagues in Europe, which is just tremendous. As I say, catching that talent early, and it's why he is being called the French Wonder Kid. So as a Newcastle fan, uh, it's very exciting to hear that we are the front runners for his signature at the moment. As I say, for any team who needs goals, this guy is certainly going to help with that. Right then, so let's talk about some potential negatives with Hugo Ekatike. The first one being that he's had two red cards this season. So not to say that's a huge negative, but it's certainly something to be aware of, one of which is for a supposed headbutt on a player. Now, it's still inconclusive as to whether he actually headbutted him or not, but he was red-carded for it, so that is something to be aware of. And another concern I've seen people have on social media is over injuries. Now, he showed great talent while at Rams 2 and out on loan, but really it's been the start of this season where he's grabbed everyone's attention. And the reason I say the start of this season is because he got injured in February and missed the final third of the season. He did actually make it back in time for the final two games where he got an assist in one and got a goal in the other. So he has been highly productive in the games he has featured in. And you could say, you know, that injuries are part of football. And you could say that maybe that's the only injury he'll ever have in his whole career. And I hope that's true. But at the age of 19, um, a thigh injury that he's had, it's possible that that could come back to him in later career. So that is still something to be aware of. And that kind of brings us on to another um, cause of potential concern for some people. And it's that we haven't really seen that much of him. Again, this is a player who is highly regarded, but really for half a season in the French League. And I do get people's concern over that. But at the end of the day, um, he is becoming a superstar. Which leads us on to the big question. What is going to happen with Hugo Ekatike this summer? Is he going to leave his boyhood club in the search of a new challenge? Well, it's looking pretty likely, especially when the club president comes out and tells everybody he's leaving. So it looks very likely he will be moving this summer. Where he's going, we don't know just yet, but... As I say, it does appear Newcastle are the front runners. It's even rumoured that Newcastle have already agreed a five-year deal with the player. And we are now just waiting on Newcastle and Rams to agree a fee. And don't get me wrong, this guy is a very talented player. And I do think there will still be other teams trying to get his signature as well. But I genuinely think that Newcastle would be a great move for this guy. And that's not just me wearing my black and white tinted sunglasses. I genuinely think it would be a good move. Now, you could say that some of the other teams that he's linked with could offer more in terms of European football that Newcastle cannot offer right now. But one thing Newcastle can offer is the start of a new project that he can be a part of from a very young age. And one thing he said back in January when he turned down, and I believe not just bids from Newcastle, but I think there was bids from other clubs as well. One thing he said back in January was that he wanted to be guaranteed first team football. Now you look at some of these teams on the list that he's being linked with. I think Newcastle can offer more first team football than a lot of these teams. Uh, Newcastle are a work in progress. We want to build the side. And in terms of firepower... Uh, with Wilson having injury troubles, Chris Wood really hasn't been able to get stuck in in the way we hoped he would. We may still go out and look at other strikers as well, but I think Ekatike would certainly get a lot of game time and in the Premier League as well would be great. So yeah, I think Newcastle would be a great move. And as a Newcastle fan, I'm hoping that is where he's going to end up this summer. Let me know your thoughts on Hugo Ekatike down in the comments. If you did enjoy this Who Is type video, be sure to click here. 
where I did a Who is Sven Botman video, another young talented player. He is a centre-back, however, and is also highly linked with Newcastle this summer. Alright guys, thanks for watching as always. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.